Hi everybody. We get lots of questions about how to properly use a box trap to humanely trap feral cats. So I thought I'd make a quick video about how we can uh, use these tools uh, to do TNR. <clears throat> so this is a trap from a company called um, Tomahawk. They make very high quality, strong, and reliable uh, feral cat traps. Whenever you are going to be uh, purchasing or borrowing a trap, you always want to make sure that it has a sturdy and secure re rear locking door <clears throat> that lets you easily uh, service the trap and easily return the cat outdoors once you're finished with the TNR project and that door should have a lock <clears throat> so setting up a trap is pretty simple you always want to line your trap with newspaper this uh, helps protect the cat's paws once they're inside the trap because the wire mesh can be a little bit uncomfortable and it also kind of gives the cat a nice clean surface to walk on, which might be less distracting when they're entering this trap, which is a new device, which is a new uh, a new experience for them, a new thing. So you see here, I, I folded the paper to size. I just used some blue pages tape to keep it, <clears throat> to keep it together. We added our newspaper to our trap, and you always want to make sure that after you've added your newspaper, you use some type of vessel to hold the food. Uh, you could put the food directly on the newspaper, but for cleanup, sometimes it's easier to put it in a little dish. We like using these little cheap paper dishes. You can buy a thousand of them on Amazon for like twenty dollars. What's nice about these is they're disposable, so if the cat does rip it up, you can just remove it, and they're not like a plastic dish, which won't. This will shred up with the paper and easily is taken out. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna. I'm going to go ahead and add my bait to my trap. At the same time, I'm also going to put a trail of food or bait. It could be tuna juice or some cat food, a very small amount leading to the front of the trap. That will allow the cat to be slowly lowered into the trap and to step on the trip plate. Um, again, like we said in the beginning, you always want to have a high quality trap with a rear door that locks in place. So I'm going to go ahead and lock this rear door on this tomahawk trap. Tomahawk traps have a little clip connected to the trap that's used to lock the rear door. It's really important that you lock it in the correct place. There are places that the, the, the clip can attach to that won't securely uh, close the door. So you wanna make sure that you go ahead and attach the clip to the correct little bar here in which the door will not open. Okay, so that's it. So now let's go ahead and let's see how we arm the, the tomahawk trap. So on the right side of the trap, you're gonna notice that there is a metal bar going from the top front down to the trip plate. It's really simple to open the trap. Notice a cat pushing up from the inside will not be able to open the trap. To gain access to the front, you're gonna push the first part of the door inward. Then you're gonna lift the whole door up. There's also a little finger loop here to help you hold this open as well. Um, on the right hand side of the door, you're gonna see a little brass ring, which lines up nicely with a metal hook. Um, what I like to do is I like to pinch the door right by the brass ring, keep it up above the hook, and I like to reach in and either grab the bar or you can grab the hook with your finger and you're going to move the hook under the brass ring. Then you're going to slowly let down the door so the brass ring goes into the hook and then you're going to let go of everything and the weight of the door keeps everything in place. So now you notice that the brass ring is inside the hook hook is attached to the pole, which goes down to the trip plate. Once a cat enters the trap and steps on the trip plate, the trap will close behind the cat. Now let's talk about what you'll do after you trap a cat, which is probably even more important than setting up the trap properly. So after a feral cat is trapped, you're going to want to immediately cover it with a trap cover. Now a trap cover could be anything. It could be a twin sheet that you've cut in half. It could be a fleece blanket like this that you've cut to size. The most important thing is that the trap cover, cover the trap completely on all exposed sides. If you use a bath towel, you might find that the bath towel comes down to about here. And this is not safe because feral cats will see this light thinking they can escape and they can actually hurt themselves trying to escape. So whatever you use, make sure that the trap cover covers the entire trap. And again, bath towels typically are not big enough. So it could be a twin sheet cut in half. This is a fleece blanket that we cut the size as well. You can, get, you can get fun with the different patterns and stuff like that. So make sure you have a trap cover. 
let's pretend I have a feral cat in here. I'm going to go ahead and open up the trap cover. Hopefully the feral cat who wants to avoid people is going to hide into the dark part of the trap. So the feral cat's going to move to the back of the trap here. Whenever we're servicing a trap or changing the newspaper, adding food, stuff like that, you always want to use a trap divider. So if you're borrowing a trap, make sure you also borrow a trap divider. If the place you're, you go to to borrow traps does not offer trap dividers, this is a great thing to buy. This high quality one from Tomahawk is about $25 and it easily can go in the back of a closet, under the bed. It's a really low profile thing when this is really gonna save your skin. Trap dividers are really easy to use. The best way to do it is gonna to be to pass the trap divider through the side of the trap. So again, my feral cat has moved to that side of the trap. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my trap divider all the way through to the other side, like that. This trap divider has a little clip that you can actually trip, clip to the trap if you'd like as well. Notice with the trap divider on the side, this thing is not going anywhere, no matter how hard the cat pushes against the trap, uh, the trap divider, okay? This is gonna let me unlock the trap, change the food, change the newspaper, lock the trap again. Always make sure your doors are locked, okay, perfect. And then once the, trap, the door is locked again, I can remove the trap divider, cover my trap. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and uncover the other side. Again, my feral cat, who's really feral, is gonna move into the darkness, which is great. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the trap divider to clean this side of the trap. Now, when uh, sometimes feral cats make a mess with the newspaper and putting the trap divider through the side is not possible. So you can also put the trap divider through the top. Remember, when the trap divider is entered through the top of the trap, it could actually act like a swinging door. So a cat could push through this and escape. So I always prefer to tilt the trap divider towards the cat. That way it's not, e it's not too easy for it to push through and swing it outward. You also have the option of using two trap dividers interlocked together. And if you use two, it's very unlikely that the cat will be able to push through that. So I went ahead and I entered my trap divider. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and Change my newspaper and the trap door is closed. Remove my trap divider and cover my cat. Okay, remember for all cats, stay in their trap the entire time during a TNR project. So, and they like it in there. It's quiet, it's dark. They like this closed, confined spaces. And well, that's it. So, that's how you properly arm and service a feral cat in a tomahawk box trap. Another type of trap you might encounter when doing TNR is from a company called True Catch. Most of them are brown in color, but they also come in green and orange and blue. Um, and they are all powder coated, so you won't see any exposed uh, silver metal like you do on the tomahawk traps. Uh, they are a little bit different, and uh, but the concepts are the same. Again, all hot, high quality traps will have a strong, secure rear door. Um, the True Catch doors slide up and stay on their rails, which is nice. The door doesn't come completely off. Uh, and if you tilt it forward, uh, back like this, uh, the door stays open. Okay. So just like uh, when we were working with our tumblehole trap, I'm gonna go ahead and put some newspaper on the bottom and get my food bowl. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added newspaper to the bottom of my trap, and I have my bait bowl there as well. I'm gonna put some good bait into the trap into the bowl, and again, you're gonna line the bait, uh, make a trail go into front of the trap to help lure the cat in. Now, the back of a true catch trap uh, is kept closed with a carabiner that comes with the trap when you buy it. Uh, those carabiners that come with the trap are long gone with us. We lose them, they break. Uh, this is a carabiner from Dollar Tree. I think it comes in a pack of two or three for a dollar and they do just as good. Just make sure that the carabiner goes over both the, the, the frame of the trap and the door and it will not be going anywhere. Okay, you'll notice on the true catch trap, you also have a bar going from the back to the front of the trap here. That the back of the bar is headed to a chain which goes down to the trip plate. <clears throat> the front of the trap, you'll notice that the door uh, is kept closed by these two rings in the bottom here. A cat cannot escape the trap when the rings are at the bottom of the trap. To open the trap door, you're gonna go ahead and lift the two rings together. 
when the two rings are raised, you're gonna go ahead and open the trap door. Okay, on the trap door, you're gonna have this bar on the left-hand side here, and connect to, connect to the bar going to the back, you have another bar here, and you're gonna go ahead and make an X shape. X marks the spot. The X, uh, the weight of the door keeps this bar raised, which connects to the trip plate. So now this trap is ready to go. A cat will follow the trail of food into the trap, and when it steps on the trip plate in the back, We'll go ahead and drop the door. You'll notice the rings also went down into place, allowing the cat not to escape. Just like before, we're gonna use our trap divider and our trap cover. So here's our trap cover. Again, make sure it covers all sides of the trap. You don't want the cat to see any way to escape. The cat will calm down. And whenever you're servicing the trap, no matter what brand trap you have, always make sure you have a strong trap divider to go ahead and keep you and the feral cat apart. And that's it, that's how to set uh, both the tomahawk and a true cat trap.